everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I am bringing you a Christmas tag for Terrific Tag Tuesday. Now if you saw my video earlier in the month of November, I talked about how that every Tuesday between now and Christmas I will be doing a different Christmas tag. I haven't quite decided if I'll be doing one on Christmas Eve day or not, so stay tuned. There'll be more to come on that. But this is one of those tags and also at the end of the video I will talk to you about a giveaway that I'm doing a associated with these tags. So um, this tag today is one that doesn't involve any stamping. Um, you'll see there's no inks in the pile, there's no stamps, no brushes to brush. This is a Cricut tag. And I pulled my old Joys of the Season Cricut cartridge out and um, then I designed it in the design studio. Now um, I do honestly, I, I kept my original expressions machine. I don't use it that often, but I just can't part with it. So I have all my cartridges just in case I need it. But the image that we're using is from Joys of the Season. And it is a tag image. Um, and, and I'll show it to you in a little bit. Now, I cut it at about four inches. I just manipulated it in the design studio so that it would be about four inches. Um, then I am using these two ribbons. Now you may recall from oh late October or early November I talked about really trying to use up my stash and not buying a lot of extra stuff. Well, I'm really trying to make that apply to ribbon as well. So I pulled this ribbon out for my Christmas box um, stash. This ribbon is from Joann's. Um, this is a very stiff ribbon. It's really glittery. In fact, um, you'll see when we use it a little bit that as you manipulate the ribbon that it um, tends to flake all over. So if you are not a glitter person, you probably are going to want to do this tag alternatively because it's very glittery. Um, now, I also wanted a second. The, the gold was just, I needed another pop of color. So I decided to go with traditional green, um, which is why I have two of these here. Because the green that I liked the best was the green on this roll, and I just didn't have quite enough. And so I had to use the green on this roll for one of the tags. So that is the ribbon that I'm using for my ribbon uh, at the top of my tags. I'm using my glossy accents, and I just moved my glossy accents into this box. Bottle. And then I'm using my Zig two-way pen. And then from close to my heart, I'm using this glitter paper. Um, again, I'm using up my stash. I don't know if this is still available or not. Um, but if it's not, you can get glitter paper in your craft stores. I will tell you one thing that I really liked about this glitter paper is it's not as heavy as some of the glitter paper that I have purchased before, which made it really nice when cutting it with my Cricut. I will also tell you that though, that when I cut it, I had been cutting a lot of tags and I don't even remember the last time that I changed my blade because I haven't spent a lot of time in the craft room. So before cutting um, this particular one, I did um, go ahead and use um, a brand new blade and put it in just so that I wouldn't have any trouble with um, the blade causing problems later. I just wanted to get, I knew this was going to be intricate and I wanted to be sure I got really clean cuts. So um, the other thing is, is there was not a backer for this tag. So this is White Daisy cardstock and I made the backer and what I did with that is in the design studio, I just um, took the, where the image was, I welded a rectangle over the top of it so that I could cut a tag base because this is far too delicate for it to be by itself. Now, there may be one there. I'm not very good at the design studio, but this was, I couldn't find it, so this is just the way that I did it. So on the cartridge itself or really using the design studio, it may be there. So let's get to assembly the tag. Now, the first thing that you'll see here is this is the tag. And it says Merry Christmas. Now I will tell you this is extremely, extremely delicate in the middle. In fact, this particular piece, um, I cut 12 of these I may have said at the beginning. Well, because of how these go together, there are how they cut, the especially the R, it seemed like the biggest place that I had problems was right here between these two R's. They would break and rip and getting them off the mat was very difficult. The other place on this particular tag that I had trouble with was right down here with the I and the S all getting um, kind of messed up. So I have a couple others here. Um, this was the only one that the I and the S got messed up, 
but I had quite a few that I lost the R. Let me put that against the white and you'll see it, that it's just not there. Now there was one that I was able to salvage the R and piece it back in so I didn't lose that tag. But basically of the 12 tags I cut, I'm only going to have nine tags, but that's okay. Um, these are just for a stash. So on this particular one, because on one tag I was missing the R's and on the other tag I was missing the ST's, I layered them together and glued them together. So then I had one solid image. So I'm using this one because that makes it a little bit less delicate to deal with while on camera, but that works really well. And so this is where my Zig two-way pin comes in. Now you could use whatever you wanted to use. I just, um, because it was so delicate, I felt like this would give me a little bit more flexibility to get my letters together. Um, and I just did it for the leather part, if you, or letter part. If you wanted to use your um, Xyron, you could probably run this through there. I chose not to because I didn't want those extra stickery squares that sometimes show up for one thing, but also the, the bigger reason is those letters are so delicate that I was afraid that going through the Xyron even would break them. So um, I just did that for the inside. Now, you, if you have used Zig Two Way, you know that if it's blue, it it works for a permanent bond as long as you stick blue to blue or blue. If it's still blue when you move it, it's a more permanent bond. Whereas if you let it completely dry and go white, it's a temporary bond. For this card, I'm not super worried about it dries so quickly because it is so delicate, but the center of the letters I'm not as worried about as the outside edge, which is why I'm using the glossy accents on the outside edge. So I just simply put it over the top and then I press it down. Now I want to have enough glossy accents that it's going to hold, but I don't want so much that it's going to seep out because even though it dries clear, I just don't like that look. And so now I've got it all together. You want to make sure that you have it lined up. And this one is a little bit thicker than most of mine because, again, I have those two layers. Now, if you wanted to, you could go on the back before you assembled it and you could stamp your to and from. But I'm not sure that I'm going to do that with any of my tags this year because I want somebody to be able to write a Christmas message if they want to or just scribble their name or however they do it. I think it's pretty obvious if you're giving a gift to someone who it's to and who's it from. So then I took two pieces of ribbon. And again, I've got that gold and, and then the green. And I just layered them together. And I always have to think about this to make sure I'm doing it right. I think I want to push it. Yes, I want to push it. I, I fold them in half and I push it from the front to the back. And then I am just, again, you can see this ribbon is pretty stiff and not super easy to work with. But it still will look really pretty. Um, it's definitely glittery. That one actually went together a little bit better than some of the others I went through. And there we have our tag. So again, I've got nine glittery tags and a glittery mess on my desk, but that's okay, And for one of our Christmas tags. So the one that looks a little bit different is this one. This is the one where I use that wider breadth of, or width of ribbon. And um, it, it's okay, I still prefer this one that's a little bit more delicate, but I really felt like that pop of green was needed because it was just, red, white, and gold was a little bit too much. I also thought about not using glitter ribbon because that's a lot of glitter, but it just did not look right if I used a non-glittery ribbon. So there we have our Merry Christmas tags. Come back next week um, and see what tag we're making next week. But also remember that I mentioned at the beginning that I am doing a giveaway. I am going to make a packet of tags to give to one viewer who comments on the first half of the videos. So what that means is every week when I do one, I will um, take random, uh, t choose a random viewer from all of those first weeks, and one person in those will get a um, package um, in early December with all of the tags. Now, that's two things. 
first of all that'll give you kind of a sneak peek of what's coming in the month of December so um, you'll get to see what's coming first um, but I want you to have them in time to actually be able to use them so again comment on this video below and um, you will be entered into the drawing and at the end of November I'll take all of the comments from all of the tag videos for this um, series up to that point and one of you will get a set of the tags so thanks so much for stopping by today and remember take some time to enjoy the little things have a great day bye